Hi guys, I'm Steve from Smooth Badger, and today we're just going to have a quick run through the basic features of the Smooth Badger workflow. The app itself is a workflow management system specifically aimed at small businesses and trades. Now, most of the time you spend giving out quotes, chasing customers, is time you could be spent doing something else, something that's making you money. What we're trying to do here is make your life easier so you don't lose clients and you can run your business a bit more efficiently and give a professional image across to your end customers. We cater for two types of users. There's you as the business user and there's your clients. It's very easy to sign up. You just fill in a few details and away you go. The system isn't limited as soon as you sign up. You don't have to validate anything. You can get full access straight away. When you do log on, you get to see a full overview of your business. Now, this is presented in the form of a dashboard um, with a few tabs. It's very easy to, to use and it's a very simple view of your overall business. So all we have are just a few columns coming in which are any requests you've received. So this could be requests made from Facebook, it could be requests you've taken over the internet, or it could be requests that you've manually added into the system. Maybe you've got a client on the phone and you create a quote. When you've created your quest, you can respond to that. That means creating a quote to send out to your end client. Creating a quote is quite easy. We'll cover that in a second. Anything that's going out of your business that needs your action is presented on the first tab of the dashboard. Now these are all the quotes that are waiting to go out. Once the quote does go out and it's waiting for a customer interaction, it shifts over to the pending tab and is shown very similar on the pending columns. When the quote's accepted, <coughs> now they can accept it, you can manually accept this, you can send a, an email to the client, um, it does have a link in there for accept or reject. When that's accepted, you need to action it, which means creating a booking. And again, once you've created the booking, which is very easy, an email is sent to the client with two links, one to accept and one to reject. Once the booking's accepted, it's ready for work to start. At the end, when everything's complete and the job's done, you can request a review from your client. Now, reviews are quite important, as you'll see later on in the system, because potential clients can be pulling this back up later on in their dashboard and requesting more work from you. So to create a quote is very easy. On the main dashboard there's a button which says quote now. You just click it, fill in the details and if you've taken this request over the e email you probably have some images that you can upload which gives you a better idea of what you need to quote for, the work area and roughly how long it's going to take you to do it. When you do create a request, you can follow any contact that you've made with your end client. We do log all contact. Um, it's a manual process, you do need to click some things and add in details of why you're contacting your client. But for each one of these contacts, you can send them an email. So, so you tried to contact your client and they weren't in, you can click the button and send them an email template to say, call me back. This way you're never losing track of where you're up to with your customer. To create the quote, when you've got all the information necessary, you just click the add button and add any items that you need to put on your quote. This can be anything. Um, it's an open free description, there's a quantity and a price. Now this is a simple view of the quote. And this you can either send it to the client, you can accept it on behalf of the client, or you can save it. Maybe you need to add some stuff later or there's further information that you need to know before you finish the quote and send it. Once this, this is sent to the client, there's two links. There's a link to accept this and a link to reject this. They can accept or reject this through their own dashboard. If they're a client of yours, they've already got an account on this system and they have their own version of the dashboard. Once the, booking, once the quote has been accepted, it's very easy to book. You just drag the accepted quote onto the calendar, whatever day that you're booking this for. 
and drag whoever's going to be doing the work from your business onto the quote and the quote's create and the booking's created. Once the booking's created, the process is the same again. You can send it to the client, you can accept it on behalf of the client, or you can save it and send it later. Once the job is confirmed, so this is a confirmed booking, I've sent it to my client and the client has clicked accept, we can start the job. So this will be on the day of the job, um, I'm out on the client side. So I click the start job, this logs on the system that this job is started and from that point I can take payments, I can close the job down, I can, I can add notes to the job so that just reminders to myself of what I need to do, like I may have to collect some things on the way to the job or when I'm on site I may need to check out a few other things just to make sure it's not going to impact on my working area or impact on the job I'm going to do. When it's time to complete the job, I just click the complete button and all this is available on mobile so you can do this actually on site. So before I complete the job I can add in any additional items that I've used, so I fixed his garden wall and the guys asked me to um, just replace four fence panels, so I can just add those to this job and I close it down. And before I close it, I can upload any photos of the completed work. Now this gives us the benefit of having photos before and after the job is complete. At any time we've got the job booking and confirmed, we can take payments. All these payments are logged on the system, um, which is then available for you to export to other financial systems, uh, maybe Sage or QuickBooks, and we can issue refunds. Every time we add a new payment on the system, we can send a receipt to the client. This is done automatically, and it is from a configurable template. We also cater for uh, work that you do for corporates. Um, maybe you need to invoice the, the client, so we have an invoice creation which generates invoice numbers for you automatically, and you can send those invoices out to your, to your client. Um, to mark an invoice as paid uh, is a manual reconciliation process. Uh, you'll see uh, there's an icon on the dashboard um, for the actual completed job. You just click it and then that's marked as paid and it's available for your accounting information. Invoices are created and they're sent as attached PDFs. Uh, we do generate these straight from the system so we can see the uh, details of the job before we create the PDF. We also cater for batch invoices where you may do a few jobs for a client within a month. So say you've done four jobs for the client and you need to invoice for three of them at the end of the month you just select the client, any jobs that you've got in completed state that are not yet paid tick the jobs and that will create you an invoice with those jobs on it. The last step in this workflow process is ask, requesting for a review. Um, reviews are quite important because when the client is going to be searching um, for people to do the work, they can actually see the reviews that you've allowed to be shared. So it's worthwhile chasing this up. Um, an email is sent to the client, um, they click a link and it brings them back into the system to um, give you a good review. And it's star based and we do try to capture as much information from the client as possible. And we can set that to either share or not share when it comes back into the system.